I recently found a free formatting add-in for Anki that I think will save people a lot of time when they're making cards. So um, what this clip aims to do is show you what that add-on can do, whereabouts you can get it, and also just quickly how to customize it. So you'll see that I have a card that I'm working on at the moment um, and that I have along in my formatting bar a number of options that you don't get as standard when you first install Anki. For instance, I can take this list that I'm working on and uh, make it a numbered list. In fact, it'll ask me if I want to use numbers or letters. Or alternatively, if I just want a standard bullet list, I can just use the unordered, unordered list button. I can indent one or more of those bullets. Um, it can do things like strike through text. And another really useful feature is inserting a table, which is great for basic tables, which is probably what most people want to be doing. So I can select the number of columns and the number of rows, and it'll just put in a table that I can then um, overwrite with my own text. And the last thing I'll show you uh, here is that you can add in hyperlinks. So perhaps it's because you're referencing some information in your card from a website, or you just want to be able to um, get to a website which has more detailed information at some later point. You highlight the text that you want to turn into a hyperlink, go up to the link button, and it'll ask you to enter in the URL. And we now have a functioning URL that we can click when we're studying. So I'll show you where you can get the add-on. Uh, and we'll just jump over to the web. The URL is in my browser bar, but I'll also include it in the video description. And once you go to the site, you'll see there's uh, a lot of text outlining how the add-on works. But the particular piece of text you'll need is under the download section. And it's this um, number, which is a unique identifier for the add-on. So I'm going to copy that number, and I'm going to go back into Anki just into um, the standard deck list view. And under tools, you'll see there's an option there for add-ons. And if I click on the browse and install option that comes up, there's a place for me to paste in that number that I got from the website. And if I click on OK, which I won't do because I already have the, uh, the add-on installed, it'll go through the process of installing the add-on for you and it'll also ask you to, um, to close down Anki. And so you'll close down and once you open it back up, that's when you'll have the additional features that I showed you earlier. Now you can actually also customize the uh, buttons that are showing for you in the, in the format bar. And that can be useful to do because, for instance, uh, when I first loaded the add-on, it actually had an option for changing the background color for a piece of text. And um, one of the standard features that you get with Anki is the option to change the foreground color, as I'm showing here. And uh, I often use that feature, so for instance, to, for instance, to turn this piece of text red. And I just I, I found it a little bit um, confusing having two uh, buttons that essentially look the same. One was for doing the foreground and one was for doing background. So if you want to customize which buttons are available to you from that add-on, you can go back into the deck list view under tools, and you'll see that there's a new option that's come up. Um, and if you select on the bottom uh, the button options that are available there, you can see there are checkboxes for the different buttons that you want to keep or to exclude. So I've excluded the background color for me. So hopefully that will save you a little bit of time when you're formatting.